Yo, what's going on guys? It's Burgers this is video and I just want to give some guidance and some advice for Reflex versus Elo. This issue was very apparent in Black Ops 3 and it is still here in Infinite Warfare. Now, if you didn't know, the Reflex reticle zooms in a lot farther than Elo. Now, if you go through in game, I will try and put a screenshot on screen, but if you go in game, it shows that there is a 3 point like um range difference when you use reflex over elo R reflex zooms in a lot more than elo i can't know like i can't really explain um how how much it looks it, it'll really just take your eyes and your perspective to notice it but it is a very noticeable difference now the one thing that that is good for is more passive ars and slower far back like watch over your teammate kind of play style which that's how i play but i don't really prefer reflex i like elo a lot more i like the cleaner the very simple very minimalistic i guess would be the word uh sight because it doesn't sway as much now that's the one issue with reflex is it sways very very much i don't know if you can tell i i'll show you guys towards the end of the video of this recording that Reflex sways a lot more than ELO. ELO is very minimal, like I said, it is meant for more of an up close range, so it doesn't sway as much because they don't have to worry about balancing it out. So ELO, like I said, doesn't sway at all. It's very, very little sway, just like it was in Black Ops 3. And I feel it's better, it's more accurate. I feel that it has a lot better hit detection. Now that's like the main reason people use ELO over Reflex. And everyone that I've ever played with on this game so far has said that they prefer ELO because it has better hit detection. So it is not me that is insane saying that. I really truly feel that the hit detection is better with ELO and Iron Sights than it is with Reflex. And in this game with such horrible hit detection anyway, uh, the little it, like the little advantage that you can get towards your hit detection is very very crucial. Now right here you can see very little weapon sway. I'll show you guys with the uh, with the R3K. Now the R3K also had grip and my NV4 does not. So that's even more of a difference in variable that the reflex should have a lot less sway because it has grip and it's on a gun that it really shouldn't sway as much. Now this gun doesn't sway at all. This, this gun just doesn't move in general. It doesn't need grip at all. So very accurate gun and I suggest the NV4 for really any AR. The R3K is a very I don't know, it's very inconsistent. I don't like it very much. So the NV4, K bar and the Volk are really the ARs I prefer right now. So right here I'll show you with the Volk the weapon sway it doesn't sway that much at all. Now on the Volk I would suggest ELO over reflex no matter what. Like I said the hit detection and just the feeling of the gun is a lot better right here look at no weapon sway at all very little weapon sway and and then we'll try out the r3k right here and look how much this gun sways you have to wait for a second to see how much it really sways but look at that using this at a long range in the middle of gunfights will really fuck you over and it is just insane how much weapon sway there is especially on a burst rifle with grip on it too and that's not just the r3k look it's every ar with the reflex sight so i would suggest elo over reflex sight especially for more ranged ar players and as long as you can really focus on your target with your eyes it doesn't matter what sight you use but once again it is all preference on what you prefer so just stick to what you're comfortable with i'm not going to tell you what to and what not to use like I said, it's all up to you. I just wanted to give some advice and some guidance and a little bit of information on the topic. So I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Hopefully you learned something from this video. Make sure to leave any constructive criticism in the comment section below. And I'm out. Peace.